Hey guys, this is John D here with Pro Digital Gear. We've been getting a lot of questions on how to properly set up your Epson driver, especially when printing from Photoshop. So today we're gonna try to help you do that. We are currently running Photoshop CS6. We have an SCP 5000 SE, the P5000 Standard Edition, and we're gonna show you how to set up the driver and make a print. So right now we have a JPEG image that came off of our 5D Mark IV. I shot this in RAW, but converted it to JPEG in camera and sent it over to the Adobe RGB color space. It's very important that you know what color space your image was taken in. If you're not sure, this could possibly help you figure out what color space your image is in. If we go over to edit, scroll down to convert to profile, we can see that our source space profile is Adobe RGB 1998. So right now we know our image is an Adobe RGB. So let's go ahead and cancel out of that. Make sure that we don't convert our image. Go back up to edit and then go down to color settings. We want to make sure that our color settings are not in Apple RGB, but are in Adobe RGB. It matches the image. Go ahead and click OK. OK, the next thing we need to do is make sure that our image size matches what we are going to be printing on. For today, let's show you how to print on 8.5 by 11 premium luster, and I'm going to make an 8 by 10. So this is clearly not in the 8 by 10 aspect ratio, so we need to crop. If we go up here and change this to 10 by 8, or that might be reversed depending on if you're shooting portrait or landscape. And then I'm going to slide this over just a bit. Maybe, actually I'm going to go all the way over. That looks good. Go ahead and crop that. Now this is in the 8 by 10 aspect ratio. However, it's still not an 8 by 10 image. So we have to go up to image, image size, and then make sure we uncheck resample image. Now this right now is a pretty giant image and it's not gonna fit on an eight by 10. So we need to change our width to 10 and that should automatically correct our height to eight or close to eight. And it's gonna change our resolution to something a lot higher, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and click okay. Now our image size and color space are set and we're ready to print to an eight and a half by 11. So let's go to file and print. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is adjust our color settings here. Now this is how I was always taught to print. Instead of printer manages colors, we need to change that to Photoshop manages colors. Then the printer profile, we need to actually change to the paper that we're going to be using. So in this case, we're going to be using Premium Luster on the Epson SCP 5000. Okay, this is the profile you're going to want to use right here if you're printing to Premium Luster. SCP 5000 and LLK refers to Light Light Black. Now if you had the Commercial Edition, this would be the Violet Ink, but in this case we're on the Standard Edition, so this is the Light Light Black Ink that's being used. So we're going to switch that to that. So now our color handling is Photoshop manages colors and our printer profile is on the SCP 5000 premium luster light light black. Now we need to go up to printer settings. Make sure that this is on photo paper and premium luster or you can change it to ultra premium photo paper luster. I would recommend using this one instead. Obviously we want this to be on color. If we go down to quality and then go to quality options. I turn the quality all the way up to five, check edge smoothing and finest detail, and then click OK. Now sometimes this could be set to automatic, and there's some options here. However, we do not want to use this. We want to go to custom, and then off, no color adjustment, since we're allowing Photoshop to manage the colors, and we already have our color profile set. Now the next thing we need to do is change over to either paper cassette or roll paper. 
Now for today, we have our eight and a half by 11s in our paper cassette. So we're gonna choose paper cassette, and then we're gonna choose letter eight and a half by 11. You can find that in these options here and click that. Now we're not printing borderless since we're printing an eight by 10 on an eight and a half by 11. So it's very important that these settings are correct. The media type adjusts how the printer sprays the ink and how far away the print head is off the image. This is very, very important because if you have a paper that is too thick in your machine and you're using a profile for paper that is very thin, you can get head strikes and this could damage your head. So it's very important that you match your media type to the paper that you are using. Okay, from here we can go ahead and click OK. Now we should be ready to print. On your preview, everything should look normal. Also, this should be on normal printing. Also, most people that print leave black point compensation on. Now, if you want a print preview to appear, go back into printer settings and check the print preview. Click OK. And then go ahead and click print. It'll bring up a separate dialog box. It'll show you how your image is going to lay out on your paper. So from here, we can go ahead and hit print if everything looks okay. Now let's cancel out and show you how to do a 16 by 20. Go ahead and cancel. The first thing we need to do is resize our image. So let's go to image, image size, change this to 16. As you can see, our resolution dropped, but that's okay. We do not want to resample our image. So let's go ahead and click OK. Let's go to File, then Print. Now we need to change a lot of settings in here. So the first thing is we need to change our printer color profile. So let's go ahead and go down and say we want to print on Exhibition Canvas Matte. So let's go to Exhibition Canvas Matte for our P5000. Light, light black, which is the standard edition. Click that. Let's go into print settings. Change our media type to fine art paper. Then exhibition canvas, not natural, but exhibition canvas matte. Now this is going to tell us that we were previously on paper cassette and eight and a half by 11, and that it needs to change to roll paper. Go ahead and click OK. As you can see, it changed our black ink to matte black ink, which will change that on the printer as well if you are on photo black. Obviously you want color. Let's look at those options there. Put that up to five, edge smoothing on, finest detail. These are preferences, you do not have to do this. Go ahead and click OK. Again, we wanna make sure that we have no color adjustment. Also, we wanna make sure that we're on roll paper and our paper size, let's say it's a 17 inch roll. Let's go ahead and look for a 17. Let's say we have a 17 by 22. Even though our image is 16 by 20, we wanna select this because we wanna tell our printer that we're using 17 inch roll media. Let's go ahead and select that and we're not printing borderless since it's a 16 by 20 image. Print preview is selected, so we can go ahead and click OK. Now our image should fit on our roll media. Our print preview comes up, and then we can go ahead and hit print. Again, this might be a little different depending on the Epson printer that you're using, but the main things that you should have in place is the color space of your image, the image size. Also making sure whatever it is you're printing from has a matching color space. And then when we go to print, we have to make sure that we're using the correct color management. Photoshop managing colors, using the correct printer profile, 
And then one of the most important things that we can do is make sure that our media type is selected to match the media that we are using. If your media is not listed in here, sometimes you will have recommendations either on the box or the brochure that came with the media. If you have any questions at all about your Epson printer driver settings, please feel free to give the knowledgeable staff at Pro Digital Gear a call. That's 1-888-459-1482. Visit our websites, pdgvip.com, and check us out on YouTube and Instagram. All right, thank you for watching.